maybe going to compete in the home run derby like he said earlier in the year. After the uh, change in rules, he's probably going to... Um, if he does compete in the home run derby, I definitely think he's a chance to win. I've always wanted to see him in the home run derby, but uh, never never had the chance to actually see him hit. Um, don't know if it will really affect his swing after that for the rest of the season. I don't know if he considers that a big deal or not. A lot of guys like uh, Stanton, he doesn't, that doesn't really affect him. As you can see in his years past, 40 home runs almost every season. But uh, definitely going to be fun if he, we can see him in there. Um, next I want to cover is trade deadline. Um, Rangers definitely been one of the more, more um, heavy topics this year since the Rangers are a surprise team. Have weren't really expected to even be in the wild card at this point. Um, we're looking maybe at more like a 500 team at the end of the year, probably lower than 500 to be honest. But uh, guys like Chu, Danny Santana, Hunter Pence, Joey Gallo, those guys really stepped up this year and have uh, kind of carried the Rangers to where they are now. Pitching this year, I mean, don't know really what to say on the pitching this year. It's just been horrendous. Although in the last uh, last couple of starts for um, guys like Samson and uh, Lynn have definitely shown a big improvement since the beginning of the season. Samson coming off a complete game, one hit, um, one run rather than one hit. Um, against the... Man, I can't remember who it was against, but uh, it was a great outing for him. Um, probably looking like a four or five starter down the line if the Rangers do keep him before the deadline. Definitely upping his trade value if the Rangers do decide to trade him at the deadline. Um, so as minor, minor ever since the beginning of the year has been doing great. I mean, I cannot even like he's been doing insanely like so much better than last year. Looking like uh, maybe a fifteen one guy if the Rangers offense can keep him up there. Um, probably one or number one or two starter, maybe next year, depending on if the Rangers do trade him or not. Um, don't know if JD will will decide to trade him at the trade deadline. Um, if they do, shame. Um, maybe looking at Garrett Cole this off season. Definitely one of the bigger guys that the Rangers will be looking at. Um, so a lot of teams that need started pitching as the Rangers do, but uh, Mike Miner, Sinsu Chu, possibly the Shields, um, looking to go at the trade deadline this year if uh, the Rangers are not in contention for a wild card spot. If they do fall out of it, they will definitely probably trade Miner and Chu. And those are probably the two biggest guys that we're talking about here, but um, if he does, if the Rangers do decide to trade Miner, um, this offseason, looking at Garrett Cole, probably top pitching. Mm, yeah, probably top pitcher this offseason. Um, that's going to be a free agent, so the Rangers will look to get him as they will to add a lot of pitching. But um, I think it will definitely definitely be close to the deadline where the, the Rangers are in contention for a wild card spot. But it will be interesting if it's close or not. They are Two games ahead of the Indians right now for that second wild card spot. Hopefully they can catch up to the Yankees or Yankees or Rays who are currently holding the first spot. Yankees and Rays fighting for that uh, first place in their division. It'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. Maybe even the Red Sox might come back. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. But um, next thing, um, the Rangers closer rule. Rangers closer rule has. Definitely not been very good this year. LeClerc, who started out as a probably top 10 relief pitcher, closing pitcher at the beginning of the season, has not been doing great. Um, ever since the three-run, yeah, I believe it was, he blew a three-run lead against the Pirates in the ninth inning. Um, ever since then, he's definitely not been the same, blowing leads left and right. Lance Lynn, or um, Sean Kelly has stepped into that role, closing role, has seven saves now this season. In eight, nine tries. Um, so he's looking like, well, LeClerc has been 
doing much better. Um, past few games, pitching in the seventh, eighth inning. So he's definitely showing signs of coming back to that role, replacing Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly, it would be great if Leclerc could come back as a solid closer, but Kelly in the bullpen have him pitch seventh, eighth innings. Set it for Leclerc. That would be perfect. Um, it's definitely the ideal situation. Kelly isn't really look like a long-term closer, but um, hopefully he can hold it down until Clark gets back. Um, Sean Kelly, though, this year, in 10 save tries, he has, or not 10 save tries, uh, 8 save tries, well, excluding last night when he blew the game against the Red Sox, allowed um, a run in the night to let the Red Sox tie the game. Uh, before that, he was doing great. Um, you know, ten pitch innings, showing kind of look, looking like Leclerc from the twenty eighteen season. He does have a two point six ERA though, so um, not looking like a long time closer. But for the time being, he's definitely been doing great, and um, hopefully, he Leclerc can come back and replace Kelly in that closing role. Um, that'd definitely be ideal, but, uh, for the time being, Sean Kelly has been doing great. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is the third baseman situation. Uh, as Drupal Cabrera acquired this offseason by the Rangers, their, um, Rangers third baseman for the year after Adrian Belcher retired. Um, he's been doing, he's been doing okay this year. Definitely not living up to, well, he has been probably outperforming what most people thought he was going to do. Um, definitely a middle-of-the-order guy. Has a 340 on-base percentage. Uh, he is only batting 256 though. So um, he definitely, on the road, um, road stats versus uh, way stats have definitely been drastic for him. He's been doing much better on the, at home um, than he has on the road. Um, as have a lot of Rangers, um, been doing pretty much the whole team. Rangers have the second best record at home in the AL this year. Um, excluding the first game of series, um, Rangers haven't been doing great in those games, but, um, hopefully they can't pick it up on the road. They have won the last seven out of 10 on the road, but, um, before that they were not doing great.